So the number one reason that I get questions as to what my minerals are worth are usually because people are getting bombarded with offers. So if that's happening to you, I'm gonna tell you why and what you should do about it. Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a petroleum engineer and I am an expert in mineral evaluations. I'm a certified mineral appraiser and I've been in the industry for about 15 years. So the number one reason why people get bombarded with offers that seem astronomical in value is that there's a permit that has been filed on your acreage. Now a permit is notification to the state or whatever agency controls the area that there's going to be a well drilled soon. Now it doesn't mean that there's for sure going to be a well drilled soon, but it means that there might be. And you aren't gonna hear about that well from the company until it's time for them to pay you. So all the way from that time that you signed a lease until the well is online and they're ready to pay you royalties, you aren't gonna hear a word from that company. So these mineral buying companies are taking advantage of being on their game. They're in this every day, looking for where permits are being filed, looking for where their rigs are going, watching what's happening, what's being developed. They know when things are happening. So they're trying to take advantage of that information and get ahead of it. By them purchasing this mineral acreage before the well is drilled, they're taking all that risk off the table for you. This could be good or this could be bad. Most likely, most likely, this is personal finance. This is not a recommendation. I am not your CPA or attorney or engineer even. This is just free advice you get what you pay for. Most likely the value of the acreage will be worth the most when the well comes online, not before it's drilled. Before it's drilled, there's too much uncertainty. How much is it gonna be worth? What's it gonna perform like? Is it even gonna be drilled? What's commodity prices gonna be? Is oil gonna go up? Is it gonna go down? Is there gonna be some massive failure when they're drilling the well? What that company's doing is coming in, trying to offer you 50 to 75% the worth of that acreage and that discount is that unknown. If you wait to see what that well does, even if it's 25% less than it's supposed to do, that's still higher than the risk that is taken off. The best thing to do is if you're getting bombarded with offers and you don't know why, the first thing you should do is make sure you know what you own. The majority of people that come to me are semi-certain what they own, but they don't have it clear. Have it clear. Know what you own, have full documentation have all your conveyance documents, have everything in files, have it by county, then by section, have everything that you receive from the operator stored, scanned, however you can store it. Keep all of your deeds, keep all of your leases, copies of offers, copies of any notes from your grandparents if it was handed down to you from ages ago, right? Keep all of those things, keep it organized, know what you have. The second thing you need to do is do a little research on the public databases. There's great information on there that each state offers on what permits are being filed, what wells are producing, what well names are going on, what, pr what production is happening on those wells. That might not mean anything to you, but at least you'll have a little bit of information to say, okay, there is or there's not anything going on on my acreage. The third thing is to know that any offer that you receive in the mail is most likely between 25 and 50% of what fair market value actually is. Now, to get to fair market value, you need to have firing power on both sides of the negotiation. So if they have a full staff of engineers, you would need a full staff of engineers in order to value it. Most likely that's not gonna happen. That's if you have two companies purchasing it from each other. Most likely if it's a company purchasing from an individual and they can't afford to hire a full staff of engineers and geologists and finance people to compare apples to apples, usually you can negotiate up to about 75%. Keep those numbers in mind. If you know that those offers you're receiving in the mail is 25 to 50% of the actual fair market value, you could be able to double that just by some negotiation. Now, how do you negotiate that? you learn more about what you have. The more equal things are on each side of the equation, the more likely you are to get to that fair market value of 100%. So if you have just a little bit more information, if you know about the wells being filed, if you know about the potential for production in the future, if you know the potential cash flow of those wells that might be drilled, how many wells will be drilled, what companies are drilling it, present day value of that future cash flow, if you know what that is worth, that gives you quite a bit of negotiation leverage. And this business is worse than a used car lot when it comes to negotiation. So negotiate the heck out of it. Never go with the first offer. Always ask for more. Always negotiate. Even if you don't have any backing for it, you just want 
25% more and you'll call it a day. Maybe you don't have that much that makes it worth negotiating. Band together. Get all your cousins, all your aunts, all your uncles together. Anyone that might have interest in the same parcel of land or around the same, band them all together. Say, hey, we're going to all sell to you if you can get the dollar per acre up to this range. Then you have a little more leverage then you have a little more firing power. It's the same amount of work for that person buying it to buy from 20 of you as it is from one, maybe a little bit more, but it's definitely worth their time drastically more if they can purchase more in the same section in the same area because they've already done that research. So if they can increase the size of that transaction, that increases their hourly rate. They're always gonna wanna do that. The more you can do that, the better. So if you're needing help with this, that is what I do. That is what I love to do. I love to help mineral owners know what their stuff is worth. I do appraisals, formal and informal. I also do quick looks. If you just want an engineer to take a quick look at your offer or your property, I'm independent. I'm not associated with any mineral buyer. I'm not part of any group buying or selling. And that is my promise to you that I am on your side. If you need help with this, click on my website, give me an email, send me a text message, whatever you need to do. I hope to hear from you and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.